hi guys welcome back to another vlog at home with amy i hope that you guys are doing great today i am so happy to have you here with me on my more chill laid back type of videos where i just share what i have been up to just more relaxed content and for this vlog i already have quite a few things filmed i have a cook with me i made some carne guisada which is pretty much like beef stew just the puerto rican way with a lot of sazon and i'm gonna bring you guys along to show you guys how I did that. I also picked out some new body care from my beauty room to put in my bathroom so I brought you guys along with me for that as well. But before I get on with the rest of that, I wanted to thank the sponsor for today's vlog and that is Pop Liz. They contacted me and asked me if I would like to share with you guys a vanity mirror and I got so excited because I have been on the hunt for a new vanity mirror. I just couldn't make up my mind. I knew for sure that I wanted one that was a little bit wider because the one that I have right now was too small for my room so I am going to give my older one to my daughter because she's getting into you know doing her makeup just very simple she's in middle school so I let her put on like a little bit of blush and a little bit of mascara and she looks really really pretty and natural so I put that in her room and I cleared up my vanity so I want to unbox this vanity mirror with you guys to show it to you the price point for this vanity mirror is amazing so I'm very excited about that and I am going to be sharing the link to the product on my description box it is from Amazon all the information is going to be on my description box but this vanity mirror has 14 LED bulbs you can change the colors from cool natural and warm and it should be easy to assemble so let's just get to it and let's put it together I am super duper excited so here is the box that it came in I'm gonna go ahead and take it out everything looks very organized okay so you even get a screwdriver with this here is some nails and stuff I think this is if you want to mount it on the wall here is the cable for it. And you also get a magnified mirror that you can suction it to the actual mirror. Like if you want to get really up close when you're plucking your eyebrows or I love things like this for when I'm doing eye makeup too so that I can see super detailed. So it comes packaged really nicely. So yeah, this one's definitely much wider than the one that I had. that is so pretty feels really nice and sturdy and I love this because you can mount it on your wall if you don't want to mount it on top of your vanity or even if you don't have a vanity and you just want to mount it on the wall you can do that so I like that option that's pretty unique and it came with these instructions here so I would like to stand it up instead of hang it for now so we're gonna need these right here all right so i am going to be putting the little legs on it because i do want to use it on top of the vanity but i am going to keep everything else that it comes with in case i want to hang it up on the wall someday i'm gonna go ahead and put it together and i'll show you guys how it looks once i am done that was super simple Probably the hardest part was actually getting the nails in with my long nails. I think I would have been done way quicker if my nails weren't getting in the way so much. All right, so there it is. That was super quick and easy. The cable is on this side right here and you also have a charger port, USB, and I believe that's USB-C. I am not good with the names and all that, but I love that option right there. So let's go ahead and let's turn it on gorgeous and there's the other setting and that's the one that i prefer which is kind of like a mix not too cool and not too warm so there is the vanity mirror let's see what does p mean if you keep your finger pressed in that one you can dim it or you can make it much brighter so that's another nice option simple very sleek that is pop liz vanity mirror go ahead and check my description box if you would like to check it out so i think that it is a super great deal because when i first started getting vanity mirrors like 
back in the day. I know my mom gave me my first vanity mirror and it was very pricey and it was not as wide as this one. And I have always kind of been on the search for one, but I wanted one that was like an affordable price and this is perfect. It's affordable. The mirror is really, really nice. It came packaged beautifully and everything was organized. The instructions were very clear. I think if you're looking for a vanity mirror to start off like a little beauty area for you to get ready, to relax, to do your skincare, to do your makeup, this is an amazing option. So thank you so much Poplis for sponsoring today's video and go ahead and check them out. I will leave all of their information in the description box. So they're also going to be giving three opportunities for three people to win a free vanity mirror. I'm going to be putting the link for that in the description box. You can go ahead and click on that link. It's going to open up a Google Doc where you're going to enter your information and they're going to be contacting three winners of the vanity mirror before November 15th. So make sure that you check that out, enter that draw and see if you're one of the lucky winners. So there's gonna be three of you guys that will get this vanity mirror for free. So thank you so much to Poplis for also doing that. That's very, very sweet of them. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's move on to the rest of the vlog all right so i just finished putting up my vanity mirror so i'm just here in my beauty room the sephora savings event started today but i like to avoid the crazy crowds at the store so i placed my order already online i'm waiting for that to get shipped so that i can film a haul for you guys but i did place an in-store pickup order with a few more things like my true just necessities like the stuff that i always always buy so those i'm gonna go pick them up i'm gonna do that this weekend so i might bring you guys along for that and i'm also really wanting to go to a pumpkin patch i just don't know which one to go to it's taking me like this month has just been a little crazy we've had a lot of like appointments my daughter had a dentist appointment i had two dentist appointments i had to get a crown taken off to get a new one so that wasn't a very fun experience even though the dentists that i go to they are a dream it couldn't have gone better even though i just hate any dental procedures because i've had such bad luck all my life with that so i have like one more year left of braces and when i first got my braces they told me i was going to have them for three years and i've only had them for one year and the orthodontist here told me girl you have like 12 16 months left so he made my whole life with that so if we go to the pumpkin patch i will bring you guys along not sure if that's going to be in this vlog or in the next one depends on how much footage i have and i have done some changes in this room you guys i never display my fragrances like out in shelves i always have them in drawers like if you've been following me for a really long time my perfume collection was i store them in drawers and i only have a perfume tray with some of them out. I don't know what got into me the other day. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Part of me loves it, and part of me is like, that's a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I like the whole, like having all of them on display, but let me know what you guys think. So I did this, oh my God. I put all of them kind of like by color, but I still have a few more, and I feel like if I add them, it's just gonna look way too full. So I just love how they look. Like that is reds and pinks white and gold all of my black bottles and then here we have like blue and green which is also super pretty and then just like these i was just i don't know they're just randomly there so i am going to film a fragrance collection video i still don't know how i feel about them being there but i feel like having this as my background for my youtube videos is going to be really nice so we shall see so i'm going to be showing you guys a quick little ulta haul that i have now i'm going to show it through here because i have really put a break on shopping when i moved during summertime i went crazy with the shopping makeup fragrance everything and once i received all of my like move things and i was organizing this room i was just like this is way too much stuff i have a lot of makeup a lot of fragrances a lot of body care a lot of everything and i love what i do on youtube and i have always even when i wasn't doing youtube i have been makeup obsessed and body care obsessed and just all things girly obsessed since i was in high school it's been years and years where i've just loved to shop the new stuff and it's just i took breaks i took a lot of breaks like when i had my girls i had different priorities like when they were newborns i remember there was times where six months would go by and i would not step foot in sephora because i was just so focused on you know my babies making sure that they had everything that they needed and shopping for me kind of 
was not the priority. So I'm at that point where I am so blessed and happy and I have so many opportunities and I love all that. But I also am the type of person that I don't like to just get new things and get new things and get new things and not give my things used. I want to discover products that I love. I want to shop my stash. I want to use the things that I bought. <laughs> so I was just like, you know, it's time to put a break for a little bit. And I've only been shopping like the absolute things that I need. With the exception of the Sephora sale, I did tell myself to just treat myself there and buy a few new things. But after the sale, we're going back to like only necessary things or only things that I use that if I run out of them, I'll repurchase them. But I'm not going to be constantly like buying new things for probably the remainder of this year. This little Ulta haul was just a really small haul with things that I absolutely love and I know I'll use up. And one new foundation, which is amazing. Ooh, let's turn on our little vanity lights. <laughs> so I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Eye Recovery little eye patches. This is a two kit one. I know Sephora has the three kit one, but they released the one with the collagen patches and those weren't really my favorite. So this one brings the hyaluronic acid ones and the cucumber ones and it was 55 bucks, but I believe, I think I had a coupon or something. I don't remember, but I needed these really, really badly. So I'm so happy I have have these back in my life because I love to put these on every single morning this foundation if you want like makeup that looks like your skin flawless just I drink like 700 glasses of water a day my skin is glowing type of skin you need this I have not been so impressed with a foundation in a while this is so lightweight yet so beautiful. I would not recommend this for those of you who do not like a more like dewy finish. It's not greasy or anything, but I think if you have oily skin, it might be a little problematic, but for dry and normal skin, this is a dream. And then here I got a big bottle of the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. I used up my entire smaller one. So this has become my favorite niacinamide serum. It has transformed the texture of my skin. So I did pick up the bigger bottle. I don't even know what it looks like because I haven't opened it up. Ooh, this is a nice big bottle. Here it is. I am so happy about this. This is so affordable and it works so good. If you're struggling with texture, with breakouts, with just any skin concerns, I feel like niacinamide is a beautiful ingredient for all of those problems. So I'm so happy to have this big one. And then I picked up this super adorable Tree Hut little body scrub set. So I have not finished all of my fall ones. So I did not want to get these in full size. So I got these in these cute little baby ones. They're so adorable. This one brings candy cane, sparkling sugar, and Moroccan rose, which smells really, really good. So I'm going to be using these this holiday season. Look how amazing Ulta is. I received this entire pouch filled with all of these samples for free. So much stuff is in here, like mascara, there is skincare, serums, I mean, so much stuff. CeraVe foaming cleanser. Oh, my favorite, L'Occitane oil to shave. So I have a little mini size of that. I mean, there's just so much stuff in there. So that is my Ulta haul. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go make Penelope some lunch and then I will insert the rest of the vlog footage that I had for this vlog. I hope that you guys are doing great today. It's a Monday afternoon and it is cold outside. At least it's cold for me. I know for some people it's probably like, girl, it is not cold, but it is like in the 50s lately. So I have just been like wearing cozy clothes and I'm loving it because I freaking love like sweats and long sleeve shirts and sweaters and all of that. I love that. I think it's so funny how like my fragrance content is like I'm all done up and my makeup is done. And then when I film my vlog, I'm looking like a mom. <laughs> because this is this is how I look like 90% of the time. So the times that I do get to do like my makeup and feel pretty and stuff is when I'm filming or on a Friday or a weekend day where I'm gonna go out. But for the most part, I'm super duper just casual. I don't spend so much time on myself because I'm just taking care of the girls, taking them to school, picking them up, lunchtime, dinner. That's pretty much like story of my life. So I made breakfast today already. My husband came home for lunch. He left a little while ago. 
I'm home with Penelope. She's watching Bluey, which is like her favorite thing to watch now. And I'm here because I want to, I'm like running out of a lot of things in my bathroom, like my skincare, body care. So I wanted to pick them out with you because I love doing that, like showing you guys what I'm gonna be putting in my bathroom to take showers and like the skincare that I'm gonna be using. So my skin broke out so bad recently and it was my fault. Recently, my mom came to visit and the night before she came to visit, I had a little bit too much wine with my husband and I didn't do my skincare routine that night. Then that morning I had to go like wake up and pick up my mom and I was feeling like crap the next morning. Didn't really pay too much attention to my skin. Then that night, since I was having so much fun with my mom and my grandma, I took a shower and I don't even know if I did anything on my skin, but like I went two or three days without really like moisturizing and doing the things that I do and I broke out so bad. I broke out like on my forehead. I broke out all around my mouth. It was just horrible. So it's now starting to get even again, but you can see I have like little scarring because I try not to pick at them, but I always end up messing with them. So I do want to put some new skincare in my bathroom because I am running out some of them are literally like replacing it with the same product because they ran out my skincare lately i've just been sticking to like some products that i've been loving so i'm gonna go ahead and pick out some stuff with you guys and yesterday i made some Puerto Rican food that was so good. So I'm going to be including that cook with me. I know a lot of you guys love cook with me content. So I'm going to be making carne guisada with white rice and tostones and an avocado on the side because it's a must. So carne guisada is like beef stew. I think like if you were to do beef stew, but the Puerto Rican way. So there's a lot of seasoning, sofrito, you know, it's very, very flavorful. So I'm going to be adding that to this vlog. That's what I have so far for this vlog. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the skincare and body care. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Okay, so body care, I want to obviously start using these because I'm kind of behind on using these. So I'm going to be putting the Tree Hut Pumpkin Spice Latte foaming gel wash in my shower. I also have the cinnamon dolce. This one smells so good, but I'm gonna start off with the pumpkin one first. I also ran out of my body scrub in the shower, so I'm going to be adding Tree Hut Pumpkin Spice Latte Shea Sugar Scrub. So I did show this in a haul when they were first released, so I'm going to put those two in my shower. And I'm also going to be adding this one as well, this Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Scrub with exfoliating brown sugar. I opened this up the other day just to smell it and it smells so good. I'm not sure about the texture because I have not touched it one bit, but it smells amazing. It smells like it's supposed to be pumpkin, but honestly to me, it smells kind of like pumpkin cookies or something. Like it's really sweet and yummy. So I want to put this in the shower too. So we have a lot of pumpkin going on and then I want to get the skincare. So this is my skincare drawer. It's where I keep all of my skincare. And right now I am in desperate need of a morning serum. So I'm going to be opening my Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I'm going to be putting that on in the mornings. I've been so good, you guys. Like, I have not bought new skincare for a while. I'm trying to really, you know, use what I have. So, and I do want to also put this on my skincare tray because I got this a while back and I have not tried it. So this is the Glow Recipe Pomegranate Peptide firming serum here i have a vitamin c that i want to start using but i'm not going to introduce too much at the same time so i'll start doing this one soon i do need to put this cleanser in my shower because i am running out of my La roche posay one and i need to also put this in the bathroom this is the thermal spring water i ran out of the one that's in the bathroom this morning or last night so i'm going to put that as well Ooh, actually, we're going to put my all-time favorite shaving product because I've been trying out shaving creams when I first got here and I just finished them up, but nothing compares to my L'Occitane shower oil. I This smells amazing. It's moisturizing and I love it for shaving. It leaves my skin so soft. So I'm gonna also be putting that in the shower. Yeah, I think that's it. So these are, that looks like so many products, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in my bathroom.
Okay, so I completely forgot that I need to go to the post office to go get a package that Caitlin sent to me. She's on Instagram. It's Feel Good Things on Instagram. So she sent me her fragrance so that I can review it on my channel. And for some reason, they didn't deliver it to my house. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and go pick it up from the post office. And hopefully they don't give me a hard time. So I'm going to go do that real quick. So I was literally in the middle of cleaning the bathroom. So I look crazy. I was cleaning our shower tub. And then I remembered and I don't want another day to go by because I don't want them to like send it back or something. So that's what I'm going to go do with Penelope. Someone's calling you? Let's see. Who is that? That is Professor Von Drake. Oh. You're not going to answer? I think in the car, I am. I just want to answer in the car. Okay, okay, let's answer in the car. All right, so I got the package. Cannot wait to open this up so I could see how this smells. I'm super duper excited. I'm definitely going to be sharing this with you on a fragrance video, but just so that you get a sneak peek. So here is the fragrance. Let me focus right here. I have it on my wrist right now. I couldn't wait but to spray it on. And I think my favorite part is the opening because I have to talk about it more on a video. But this is definitely for a gourmand lover. This is by Caitlin Stone and it's called Midnight Vanilla. So really, really nice gourmand fragrance, especially for fall and winter now. And I'm going to go ahead and take this up to my room. Just wanted to give it a mention here in this vlog. If you love vanillas, coffee, sweet butterscotch type of fragrances, this is a nice one to check out. I will put the information for this one in the description box, but stay tuned because I am going to include it in a haul video where I'll go over the notes and also give you more information on it. So yeah so happy and thank you so much caitlin for sending this over this is a beauty all right guys so time to cook we're gonna be making carne guisada this is such a cozy comforting type of meal especially now that it's a little colder outside and you want food that's just going to warm you up and make you feel just comforted so I am getting everything ready. I sliced up some carrots. I'm also slicing up some potatoes that's going to go into that. And here I have my meat, which is, I believe it's labeled stew meat, if I'm not mistaken, on the packaging. And I'm going to be adding a spoon of sofrito. Sofrito is pretty much our base in Puerto Rico. It's just onions, peppers, garlic, a bunch of stuff mixed together. I could maybe make some one day on my vlog. I'm also going to be adding a packet of sazon goya and i'm also going to be adding adobo which is going to season the meat it's going to make it taste so so good i'm also going to be adding onion powder and i didn't measure i just kind of eyeballed it i'm also going to be adding garlic powder some oregano i didn't put too much but i do like a little bit of that and about two caps of vinegar this will help soften the meat make it a little bit more tender i'm also going to add some black pepper now i'm also going to add some garlic paste i literally add this paste to like everything that i cook and some olive oil and i'm going to mix that meat around and let it sit for a little bit while i get everything else ready so here is everything prepped we have our meat seasoned and full of flavor we have our potatoes diced up i put it in water so they don't turn black i have like a chunk of onion and my carrots so now i'm just gonna make some white rice really quickly that's going to go with this meat i'm just showing you guys how i'm making my rice really quickly but that's pretty simple i use medium grain rice so i added four cups of water and four cups of rice a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt and i let that do its thing and now i'm going to go ahead and start on the meat so i added a little bit more olive oil and i'm going to add my meat in here and I also added a little bit more water so that the meat can cook slowly because you have to let this cook for a while so that the meat is nice and tender. If not, you're going to have some really hard meat. So I add this, I add a little bit of water to it, which you will see me add now. And I kind of let the water go on the rest of the seasoning that was on the bowl. And I'm just gonna mix all of that up together. 
and I also added some bay leaves. I only add like two small ones because this is very strong. This gives like a very distinct flavor to the food. So I don't like to add a lot of it, but if you like it, you can add more. And I also added the big chunk of onion as well. And I covered this up. I put it at about medium heat medium low because you want it to kind of cook slowly and you let it cook for 40 minutes after those 40 minutes are done i went ahead and added some tomato sauce about one fourth cup of that into the meat so here it is it's like cooking slowly you want it to kind of be simmering but not like boiling because then it can dry up and i mix that in as well and i'm also going to be adding my carrots and my potatoes so those are gonna go in there we're gonna mix that up as well and then once you have your potatoes your carrots you're going to lower it even more and let it cook for another 30 minutes let all of those flavors combine and here is my carne guisada super yummy super comforting I love it so so much here I was just bothering my daughter but I was just showing my little tree in the backyard and now we're back to cooking I made some tostones and I seasoned them with adobo and here they are with some mayu ketchup which is ketchup and mayo mixed together and here is the finished plate so I hope that you guys enjoyed it and now let's move on to some shopping so this was last Sunday we went out it was a beautiful day it was very gloomy very foggy it was so like just fall vibes I just wanted to record some of it because it just made me so happy like driving in Kentucky is just so relaxing and it's just just so beautiful so all of the trees are just changing color and it was cold and I just love it so we are on our way to the mall so my first stop was Bath and Body Works I stopped here to do an online pickup so stay tuned for a Bath and Body Works body care haul I did stock up on a few things since I am starting to build my collection all over again they also had so many yummy candles I also placed a candle order so that will be included in my haul and next up we are going to Sephora to pick up my pickup order for the sale and I did get to smell these new perfumes right here not my favorite they're not very interesting to me I also smelled the Killian uh, princess fresh I think and that one was actually really really good so I did like that one and I was just looking around seeing what new things they had in store I picked up a little gift for a family member I need these highlights in my life and we secured the bag so now we went over to Target they already have a bunch of cute Christmas things out they have really cute coffee mugs I fell in love with this one I didn't take it this day but I might go back for it I'm not sure I just have way too many coffee mugs and it's just like an addiction this body scrub right here hot cocoa smells divine I didn't take it because again I'm trying to go through my stuff but these body care products this day Ooh, I was so tempted. <laughs> this right here smells so, so good. It's like a vanilla scented body mist and body oil. They have so many things to choose from. And I actually took this little gingerbread mug because I was actually on the hunt for this one. So since they had it here, I picked it up. It is smaller than what I thought it was gonna be. They also have an adorable Santa mug and they also had a really cute Christmas tree one. Those are super duper cute as well. And I love the plates. I didn't pick any up this day, but I might go back because I love getting these types of plates for the girls and we ended the day with a dinner and a margarita so that is it for my vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one